Okay. So, this is going to be my last video for tonight. I've been searching for Delanda's telephone number. Google would not let me get it off the, um, out of my account. I can't get any of my old text messages. But you guys know I don't give up. I search and search. And I came up with an old file that was in my drive. And it says this file is unsupported. So I couldn't bring it up in this phone. But I was able to bring it up. That's when she wanted me to move in with her uh, sister, and I didn't want to. Now you can, you can, she can keep a knife. But um, she can keep a knife. They got to just stay in the kitchen. I'm trying to get out of here, so I found it in my app. It's called Explore. Well, it brings up certain things. Okay. And, uh, here her number came up. Where is it? All right. All right. So I'll meet her Sunday. And, and, uh, right there. If she likes me, I'll, uh, get her address. 909 uh, It took me a long time, but I found it. Thank you, darling. I love you. Now, I, I really uh, okay. take care of this woman. She helped me a little bit, but see, she knew. Uh, they had charged, they had charged they me with the assault of a uh, assault with a deadly weapon for a clerk, but I didn't do it. Um, I don't you. Yeah, uh huh. You'll be alright. Okay, my family will love you. Alright. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know. Bye -bye. But just the music player got to play. But, um, Yolanda, to show my appreciation when I first got my money, when I first gave, got out, I gave $100. Um, I gave, dropped the money all the time. I took her out to, uh, lunch. I, you know, I bought her, just tried to be good to her, bought her cigarettes. And, uh, right before I got evicted, I lost my key. My key came up missing to my storage. So I told her because I had given her a key. But some of my, like I told you, my things were coming up missing. And uh, I asked her to bring me my key because I couldn't find my key. And she hazed on it. She didn't want to give me my key. So I knew she was working with them things at U-Haul. Now, I just called her. That's her right there. You see, they got my name spelled wrong. But attention, Alonda Jepson. Oh, I'm going to sit down. Maybe I can turn this light on. Well, of course they shut it down because they don't want you to see the information. But Yolanda Jepson. Now, they should have put her address on there, but they got my parole officer's address on there. Because they should have sent her a letter. So, between the parole officer and Delanda Jefferson and all of them, hold on one minute. Now, this is her address. Five sixty West Turner Street, San Bernardino. That's U Haul. She said he called her. Why didn't they send her that notice to pay the bill? Since this is my eviction notice. She said he called her and said that and turned the light out. And I just want y'all to see Miss Delonda Jefferson. She said he called her. And told her, number one, that she had to pay a hundred dollars. 
she had to get the stuff out of there because she had to pay $100. Number one, she said she didn't have $100. And, and that might have been true. Then she should have left it in there. If they were going to get rid of it, since you know you can't take it, she said she didn't have room to take my stuff. So she told somebody, first she said, they cleaned it out. They cleaned it out. I say, who was they? She say, I told some people to go in there and clean that storage out. Why would she do that if they going to charge her $100? Because all she had to do was leave it in there. They just auctioned it off. They got their money. So between you all, Yolanda Jefferson, and Miss Meadows, them people at the parole board, they've taken all my things. I hung, I hung up on her because the lie she told was so obvious. She knew how to reach out to me. She knew my website. And everything she said did not make any sense. They were going to charge her $100. And then she said, oh, no, they said they were going to take my money. They weren't going to let me pay. Then you should have let it, left it in there. Why would you tell somebody? I said, well, what did they do on my storage? I don't know what they did with it. I just told them they could have it. Really. The people do that with somebody supposed to be a friend? You don't even look? And people curious, curious. They would want to see if something in there they could use. You know what I'm saying? At any point, you're telling me you could not find another place to put it. You just told somebody, you don't know, y'all could have it. Go in there, y'all could have it, clean it out. Without even being curious, because everything that was in them boxes, there was 30 boxes in there, and most of that stuff, at least 20 of them boxes had new merchandise in it, never been used. Over $10,000 worth of merchandise, never been used. And you're going to tell me you just told somebody, oh, y'all could have it. You didn't take nothing. Unbelievable, Miss Jefferson. All right, guys, this is my last video for tonight.